Hey, this is Kildawise here, bringing you an M4 review on the M4 Cobra by Ignite and Black Ops. This whole gun is made of metal except for the grip, which is rubber, and this front piece here, which is plastic, and the set of sights, which are also plastic, which are supposed to flip up, but the back one does not, and the front one does. Other than that, we have the railings on the sides, the bottom and the top. The dust cover that does not work. It doesn't stay in position. And the magazines are made of plastic. As you can see, it's semi-auto and safe. It has this nice rustic color on the external parts. Well, some of the external parts, which I really like. You can look inside there. It's locked back right now because I was shooting it and the battery ran out. The battery goes in the back here, which you can unscrew. And it comes with a MOSFED, which means it's LiPo ready. Only use 11.1 .1 is the highest you can use. And there's a piece on this which also unscrews the very tip of it so you can use that instead of doing the full thing but I like to take off the whole thing just because it's easier and sometimes it's a pain to put back on and other times it slides right on a feature that I don't like about this gun is that when you shake it you can hear um, when there's a mag in you can hear the mag wobbling around which is kinda irritating because it can give away your position when you're running now let's shoot it all right, I'm 30 to 40 feet away from the can, and first shot hit it. Now let's see what it did to the can. So I can see this thing being almost dead accurate up to around 60 feet, and then from 80 and beyond, it starts getting a little sketchy. And as you can see, that thing almost went through the can which is pretty good from that distance. I mean, it's not it's not freaking beast, but that's still really good. It's a good price, around 100 for it. Now I'm going to use fully auto. That's pretty good. And the battery just died. So that's another downfall to this gun. The batteries last you very little. And again, we're going to be looking at the Coke can because the pe Dr. Pepper has already been shot. Oh, here's where it hit it. That's pretty decent for the top of the can. It's, there's a big old hole, not a hole, but there's a big dent right there. So, I'd give this gun... For professionals, probably a 5 out of 10, and for beginners, a 9 out of 10, because if you're a beginner and you get this gun, you're going to be doing a lot better than, uh, you're going to be doing a lot better than intermediate players. So would I recommend this gun? I'd say if you were a beginner and you're just getting into the sport, and you only had a hundred or so dollars to spend then I would recommend this gun other than that I would say save your money go big or go home you know this is intermediate and if you really want to kick some ass you gotta get the better stuff thanks for watching this is Kayla Wise hope you enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe see you in the next video